Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Woo! I had coffee today for the first time in a while, so I might be talking a little faster than some of you used to. I'm gonna try to slow it down for a little bit. Three times a week, maybe even four times a week now with the Friday shorts, we put out videos on this channel. Two of them are beautifully edited cinematic video masterpieces. One of them is uncut. And for today's Uncut, I got a couple things for you. I got a couple packages to open. We're gonna check out our Blood Python Sangria because I, well, because. And at the end, I'm gonna move over to my male Scrub Python and see if I can get him out of the enclosure without a hook, without getting bit. That's poorly advised, but I thought it would be fun because there's still some of you guys that watch the channel that seem to really not like me, but you still watch for some reason, which is fine. And it's really for you guys that want to see me get hurt. Because I don't care. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an open-minded type of individual. Uh, so today, let's take a look at Sangria first. Should we look at Sangria first or should we get the packages open first? I'm not sure which one to do yet. Hmm. Let's get Sangria first. So I am now, I've gone from 95 to 99% certain that she's gravid to 100% certain because she just laid a big fat dookie this morning. Huge, enormous dookie. And yet look at this. Hi, Sangria. Don't bite me. Check this out. This is how I can tell. It's pretty obvious. You just hang her like this and you can see Woo, don't drop her, don't drop her. She's heavier than you thought. If you look at the lower end of her body here, you can see all these eggs hanging down inside of her body, even after the big poop. So that's enough of that. But yeah, she is certainly gravid and we're gonna be getting a clutch of sangria eggs this coming season, which is fantastic because I love blood pythons and it'll be the second time we produce them and sangria produces beautiful, beautiful babies. Don't you, girl? All right, go back in there. It's gonna last, last time I bother you for quite some time. Go ahead, climb on in. Got her some fresh cocoa blocks up in that piece. Got her some fresh everything. Enclosure's nice and fresh, ready to lay some big fat pearly whites, aren't you, girl? You do good in there, mommy. You go rest up, take your time. Last time she gave us, what, like 17 eggs and only one slug? This season I think is gonna be huge. And speaking, speaking, speaking of speaking about reptiles, I just wanted to remind folks, that I do this every now and then just to remind people, as much as reptiles are a huge part of my life, that is not what this channel's about at all. It's just about me and my life. Reptiles are a huge part of my life, but it's not the whole thing. Just in case you forgot, or just in case you're new, it's not a reptile channel. That's not what it is. So don't watch if that's not what you're into 100%. It's fine with me. Like. I'm, I'm gonna put up whatever content I want on this channel every time. And if that's venting about stuff, if that's whatever, whatever. I might even upload a video of, uh, I don't know, something completely related to anything. I don't know, this is, my, this is my outlet to the world. I use it however I see fit. One thing I like about uh, Billy's content over there, he just does whatever he wants. And, and speaking of that, one of the things that I never do is I never call out somebody in a negative light in person on a video. It's not that I don't feel negatively about some people or some individuals at times, but I prefer to have those conversations with that person and with that person one. If they're willing to come on video with me and discuss it, I'm totally open to that. Like soup way open to that. I, that's what I would prefer to you know, maybe show people how it's possible to have a disagreement with somebody and either just continue to disagree or work through it and show what that process is because it seems like a lot of people struggle with it. Um, which is just part of humanity. It's, it's a complicated place that we live in, working with the world of people. Um, and my point of bringing that up is, well, people, people want me sometimes to call out people in person publicly. And I'm, just, I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I don't do that. I've never done that, I never will. Um, 
I'll vent about issues and frustrations, but it just seems that like that's not productive. And one of the big reasons I feel that way is because in my own life, things have culminated. Okay, there was a situation on the last uncut that I, I was, I hinted towards, but didn't really explain a lot, mainly because I didn't know if I was legally allowed to or not. Um, so basically what happened is a private investigator showed up on my doorstep, literally like out of the blue in the middle of the night and uh, wanted to talk about this thing that I hadn't talked about in, or I hadn't even come to mind really that strongly in a long time from back in my early adulthood. Basically, what happened is there was a kid, and I call him a kid, because at that time, he was, we were both kids, I was like 20, I was only a few years older than him, and I was really trying to help him out. I saw a lot of potential, which is a word that gets thrown on a lot, but there's a lot of, there was, good charisma, artistic, and I brought this kid in to try and kind of take him under my wing a little bit and get him away from the potential path that a lot of us are struggling. Now, at the time, I was dealing with my own issues, too. You know, I'm, like I said, I was like 21, maybe 22, going through my own battles with the strongest addiction I've ever fought off in my life. Uh, and so it was kind of a tumultuous time in my own life at that time. But basically, I, I left. I, I left that that life got out of that kind of environment went and played with the band i was in hawaii and then that kid that i had seen so much potential in ended up killing somebody else that i know and you know it all went, it went to trial he went inside and i think something else happened while he's inside um again i'm not gonna go into specifics because I, I don't think i'm allowed to uh but that that all showed up on my doorstep brought up that whole flood of memories and it just uh made me feel it made me feel bad, obviously, for that situation and everything, but it made me feel bad that I, that could I have done more? You know, could I, did I not do enough? Granted, and as I said, I give myself an out here, which, whatever, just because of where I was at in my own life, I wasn't necessarily in the position to fully be counseling somebody into becoming a better person when I myself was having incredible struggles of my own. Um, but it still made me think back to, could I have, like, could I have done more? You know, could I have really done so much more and maybe avoided that whole situation from ever happening and uh i don't know it was it was very emotional for me uh to bring that stuff back up and, and really think about it I, I sat and and cried for a little bit and i just uh and, th and that's why th with this channel it's i only bring up stuff like that if i think i can help somebody else out. That's one of the goals. Although it's just a place for me to outlet, a place for me to share all the great things in my life. I really don't try to share the negative stuff unless I think I have something from it that I can offer to help other people out. <sighs> Let's open some packages. And then at that same time, like people started coming on the channel, right, right that same day, for whatever reason, like people were like, we're just just show snakes or we don't want to see anything else but and I was like you know what don't watch don't watch. you don't like what I'm putting out just don't watch it and it I just I get frustrated with people sometimes like that because it, it and not because not so much because I think that they're you know uh, it's not that I think that they're complete idiots be, or maybe it is because I think they're complete idiots I don't know it's because more yeah know what it is is because I feel sorry for people i feel bad that somebody's in a place in their life where they feel because i never would personally go out and like try and attack somebody that i don't know in person on the internet and I, that, that kind of mindset just boggles my mind i don't understand what good is coming from that for anybody and it just makes me feel bad for those people like what went wrong in your life that that seemed that's what you are doing like I think I've had as many struggles as I had in my own life. I feel like I had a very fortunate life as well. Oh. <laughs> uh, so these, I ordered these one night when I was just completely tanked. And it's, they're these like yoga pants for girls, technically, I think. But they looked super comfy. I was sitting on my love sack. It was really cold. And uh, that's what these are. Let's give them a go. Let's see how it works out. Ugh. Almost pulled off the underwear too. That would have made for a real quick cut from YouTube. They're extra large. I ordered them extra large because they're for girls technically, but they just look so comfy. Oh. 
Oh, and you know what? They fit perfectly and they feel just as comfy as the home and then we're gonna feel whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, Hillary's gonna be super jealous. <laughs> I feel like I got real sidetracked all of a sudden. That's all right. Anyway, full vent mode now. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't, I don't know. If you guys get the, look at these. And they're so flexible, I can just kick and kick and everything is good. Oh, that's nice. One more package from Michael Baza over at Boz Reptiles. Oh yeah. This shirt's super comfy too. Boz Reptiles, check him out. He's one of the two people that joined us for the, uh, the cleanse where I've gotten into this place where I'm feeling super healthy and Sorry, it's not it's not really there yet. Once I get there, I'm gonna go full flex on this camera for you guys. Let's get the scrub python. We're clipping right along. We're moving right along. Scrub python time. Frank, our male scrub python, no hook. Hi Frank. Are we gonna be cool? Of course we are. Alright. Ooh, ooh, that was interesting. I accidentally bumped his tail when he was pointed at my face. Luckily, he didn't do anything about it. So, there we go. Frank, the male scrub python, without a hook. That was my highest chance of getting bit today. Didn't happen! Sorry, folks! For those of you guys that were just hoping, just waiting. Anyway, the, the main point was to tell you guys why I don't call out people on this channel and why I never will, because of all the incidents in my life, it never ends up being a good thing for anybody to engage in that type of activity. And I choose not to. Happy? I am. If you're not, I'm sorry. It's gonna get better. If you take the actions to make it so for yourself. I'm out, the coffee's kicking in hard. I'm <laughs> starting to, I can feel my brain going too fast. Bye.